Good morning traders, welcome to Privateer FX. It's Asia preview, North American wrap. Let's start out with some of the uh, non-currency markets and see what happened here today. Here's a daily NASDAQ chart. You can see we, we took out these highs from break traders, bought it above this uh, uh, the 100 day moving average and then it failed and reversed lower. Uh, the markets were down a bit overnight on more tough talk with you know between Trump and Putin. So you know the, again, it's just a complete headline game, um, making it very difficult. Got to stay nimble with, uh, especially if you're trading equities. I mean, all the volatility and uh, of all the asset classes, the only real volatility is in um, is in the equity space right now. Aside from if you're trading things like dollar turkey or dollar ruble, which have had some pretty massive moves, but uh, um, we, we tend to stay away. We, we do get involved a, a little bit in, uh, in dollar turkey and dollar rand. Dollar ruble is kind of a, a whole different animal. Um, here's the S&P. We did not make a new high. It's kind of an inside day, you know, slightly lower. We hung around this VWAP, but, it, you know, most of the day. Um, it just didn't do it. Didn't couldn't really get anything going on the top side or the downside. Um, one interesting chart that we were looking at, you can see this oil. So with some of this Middle East tension between, you know, talk of bombing Syria and then and the, all the other unrest, um, which has caused the Turkish Lira to really collapse this week. Um, obviously, anytime you have Middle East tensions, you're going to hit strong oil as you can see here we went from 62 earlier in the week and we got up to about 6750 6730 40 ish took out this old little double top type formation um, one thing I, I, I am cautious on being long crude oil at these levels when I was looking at the positioning numbers over the weekend um, it looks like the market is just massively um, massively long so I am uh, I am looking for some negative price action on some of the shorter term time frames, uh, and, and we'll be looking to get short oil in the, over the next day or two. Um, yields didn't do much. Ten years didn't do much. Uh, gold also had a bit of a, a run today, although it, it backed off and closed kind of middle of the range. Again, this is the the break point 1365. We finally took that out after after you know several months. Really, this has been pretty much you know, since late January, it's just been in this sideways con consolidation. Broke through these old highs and then failed. So, you know, here's another one. They're buying gold because of the geopolitical tensions and the Putin comments. And then you got Trump tweeting and, you know, it's the sanctions on Russia. All good reasons to be long gold. However, uh, again, I'm not chasing that one. Silver, uh, Another one that had, now we've got, this is a breakout for us now. Take a look here, 1689 in this front month. Silver, three daily highs, another couple highs up here, 1695. This to me, I don't like the late day price action where it sold off and closed kind of middle of the range, even maybe a touch lower. As, uh, um, so that's not ideal, but it, I'm definitely on the lookout if I were to be long gold or silver, I'd rather be long silver. You know, maybe you get a, a cheap buy here down at the uh, down at the hundred day around sixteenth and sixty-three. Um, so that's kind of the macro space where most of the action was today. Uh, currencies, we had uh, a little bit of a. Um, let's go to the hourly in here. We had a little bit of a um, sell-off intraday. I believe it was just after the fix. I don't know, it was, oh yeah, that's right. This was just a few other hours ago. You know, you start seeing some doji action here. Another push, we didn't take out that high. Back here, another doji, a few red bars. Got down to uh, 123.47, but overall it was very, very quiet. Dollar yen was trading kind of with risk. You can see how we failed up here at the 100 hour moving average up at 117.05. But you know, it's kind of stuck between the 100 hour and the 200 hour moving average, hasn't 
wasn't really doing much. Uh, dollar CAD took another leg down, got some stops under uh, 125.89 was a FIBO. 125.83 was a FIBO. Uh, here it is. So we closed right on that today. We, d we did get some stops and we yeah we did get some stops here uh, it did make a move down to 125.45 keep in mind last year's close in dollar canada was 125.72 so we're kind of on you know we're pretty much unchanged on the year um, it's usually a decent pivot here we are on the second quarter um, what else are we looking at dollar turkey you can see this remains strong Although we did have this move up to almost a 420, and then it pulled back. The, they did. There were a few comments out of Turkey uh, discussing, you know, the, po the possibility of slowing the decline in the Turkish lira, and I think that that got some weak dollar Turkey longs out. Other than that, not a whole lot. We have uh, Kuroda speaking during your session. We've got the ECB minutes coming out. Uh, in the early New York morning, and jobless claims, and we also have Weidman speaking, and Bank of England's Governor Carney speaking in uh, around midday in the U.S. Um, and that's about it. So, again, most of the action on the in the peripheral markets, the, some of the other macro markets like gold, oil, silver. Stocks, currencies remain quiet. We are patiently waiting for volatility in the currency space to pick back up. Good luck trading, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. Cheers.